Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine. And today we have here the another Pan Presto figure. This is the sculptures brick. And this uh re this is actually a re-release, as you guys can see, it says that it's a champion in 2014. Um this uh, was announced back in April or May if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, and then now I finally got it. Um uh, actually I got it like uh last week. But again, I didn't have the time, so now I finally have the time to review it. So yeah, now here, right in front of us, we have this Gale Fourth Luffy. As you guys know, um, this is like the latest hype of um, Luffy upgraded power. Based on the latest manga, um, there are so many much more powerful uh, rivals. So maybe Luffy might need another power up. So yeah, we wouldn't know. But again, back to here. So yeah, the box art here is uh, very simple. It's just here when Luffy first appeared in his fourth gear against, if I'm not mistaken, it was Do Flamingo. So, yeah, can you see? Then here, maybe you guys want to see the detail. You guys can read here is Gear 4 Monkey D. Luffy, sculpture big, and then something special. So, yeah, and then here at the side, you guys will be able to see the fourth gear here, a very big fourth gear, fourth one piece. And then here, you guys can see the Luffy. This will be how the figure looks like. So yeah, again, it looks really good. And then, here's the back. Um, here is how it looks like. This is how this, the sculpture will look like after this. So, and then here is the artist, if you guys want to have a look at him. So, yeah. And then here you guys can see behind the very nice Going Merry. It's not Thousand Sunny yet, I'm not sure why. Maybe because um, there is a release on the Going Merry thing. But that, again, is quite expensive. So, I still couldn't get it yet. Then now here you guys can see another side of the Luffy. And then at the top here, um it's just the same. Gear 4 Monkey the Luffy. And you guys can see like the Pirates of the Caribbean, the skull here. So yeah, and then here is the Toei sticker over here. And then here is just the warning, like your usual one. So yeah, basically the box is just like that. So we'll put it aside and now we take a look at the figure. So, what we have here in front now is the Gear 4 Luffy. Again, it looks awesome here. Actually, this uh, this pose is sort of like the Sengoku pose, you know, the Golden Buddha. Yeah, it's sort of like, like that. But then, again, it's based on the... I think if the inspiration of the King Kong, something like that, because he's Monkey D. Luffy, so yeah, if that makes sense in a way. But then, yep, now let's take a look here. Yes, I'll bring it closer. So yeah, um, I've already put up this figure because I just want to have a look at this awesome figure. So let me tell you how many parts that it comes with. So firstly, um, the head over here, the full body over here is one part and of course this hand together. This hand is one piece alone. Let me just show at the side here. This whole piece is another piece. So there's one, one whole piece here, two, and then three is the pants over here. Here the floating pants. And then fourth is this um, little base here. So, where should we start? I guess we should start from the top first. So as you guys can see, um, Luffy's face over here. Like, you can see that um, when he's in gear fourth, his skin sort of like expand in a way. So that's why you can see his eyes here would be sort of in hollow, so it would be in black. And then after that, maybe I'll show you guys at the back first. Here at the back, you guys can see his straw hat over here. And then his clothes over here. And then maybe you guys want to take a look at the hair. Maybe just too close. Yep. His hair sort of reminds me of the Super Saiyan hair. I'm not sure why I can't focus. Let me just try. Yeah, just can see. Sort of like a Super Saiyan hair, if like the Goku one. And then yeah, you guys can see the detail. I'm not sure you guys can see the detail of the mouth of the teeth. But yeah, you guys can see there's a little one. And here you guys can have a look at the scar and I just want to say that um, if I'm not mistaken there are some bootleg of the Gear 4 Luffy so maybe here I'll give you guys some tips uh, about how the original wood looks like compared to the fake one and here you guys can see the most obvious I guess would be the scar you guys can see the color it's sort of like a pink I'm not sure why I can't focus but the scar should be in a really light color and sort of like a blend it to it if I'm not mistaken, the fake one, the color, the scar of the color is a little bit darker. 
and the placement is a little bit weird like sort of pop out but this is rather is placed inside of it so yeah and then here you guys can see sort of like his tattoo if that makes sense over here sort of like the dragon tattoo his father so yeah and then the straw hat here by the way you guys can see it you can move a little bit but then this part over here is stick on the clothes here this um this straw this part is stick on the clothes there and then the back here of course um you can move a little bit but the side here is glued onto the shirt so yeah i mean that could actually make it um not stick rather make it float but if that's how they do it then yeah can't complain much and then um the hand the hand it's a completely different quality um if you guys want to see the detail so yeah you guys can see the hand is sort of like a different kind of material that they use rather than the same kind of the shirt here because it is in coated in haki so yeah the this material is rather a soft kind of material rather smooth so yeah it's different from your usual um from your usual what to say material used so yep and then here you guys can see another detail maybe you guys want to see his arms here the bicep everything his triceps again focus wrong side focus on the hand yeah finally so yeah you guys can see here and you guys can do a high five with you guys can do a high five with Luffy over here so yep and then now we take a look at the belt the yellow belt here which is usual and you can see his always his jeans so yeah looks great and the legs as well here is also coated in haki so it's, it's the same material used come on focus yep there it is and then, yeah you guys then next here you guys can see um this part i'm not sure you guys can see here you just stick it on to luffy pants and then yeah you can stand and then you guys can see the base over here and maybe yeah maybe the thick one it looks i mean this is the real one it looks like that so if you want to ensure that you buy the original one and compare to the fake one so yeah maybe you guys can see like what's the difference like that and by the way um this figure it can stand although this big base uh is like the main base but what i'm what i'm trying to say is that um once you cross you can see the leg here the tiny feet over here please focus I focus on the box all right let me just go on so i guess you can see the little feet down here the base is actually on par with the base this base that it provide so that's why once you put it down it's actually rather secure it won't fall down re uh, very easily although you can see the big figure but you can see i'm moving quite hard i'm moving quite hard it's rather steady so yeah that's very good again um the size now let's just put that aside here the size compared to the box is like that to, uh, to be frank i was i was ex actually expecting the the figure to be slightly bigger like maybe until this height here until this height but then yeah um just overall the figure is very good it's just the height it's a little bit disappointed i was expecting a little bit bigger because due to the size of the box but then yeah i mean what can you say it's released back in 2014 so hopefully in the coming years they will improve i mean who doesn't like a big figure but then if when come to the um the price range of this i'm really satisfied satisfied with it and if you have a lot of money to spare you can of course get the one released the portrait of pirates released by mega house if i'm not mistaken they also have the fourth gear luffy where it have the clock effect and of course um same pose as this one and it's a little it's much bigger i think it's towards the height of this around here yeah so if you guys have that amount of money to spare then yeah you guys can get that one if not you guys can get this luffy instead so yeah that's it for today's review um there will be more um figure or maybe kids review coming out very soon so yeah if you guys have enjoyed please don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to me if you haven't subscribed to me because there will be similar videos like this coming soon so yeah i'll see you guys soon and i hope all of you have a very good day